I just wanted to tell you guys about this wig. She's cute and I like her. And if you want to learn more about this wig, keep watching. Period point blank. <laughs> So, oh, I feel like I look bright. So, hey, y'all, it's Jaden, aka Baby J. I said it right. I said it right. And I'm back with the dealings all day, every day, always. Never gonna stop. Today, I am reviewing this cute wig. She's cute. This is the MLF 126 Lena wig. So, if you want to learn how I styled this wig and the details on it, stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Everything will be down in the description box. I will link the wig, the name of the wig, and the color that I got. If I have missed anything, feel free to leave me a comment. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave me a comment. If you just want to tell me that this wig is kind of cute, leave me a comment if you want to tell me that my wig is touching my eyebrows leave me a comment if you want to tell me that you want to be friends leave me a comment period anyways so let's get this voiceover started so this is a lace front wig and don't talk about me because i took the wig out of the box and i put it back in that's why it's upside down but anyways this is a premium lace front wig um, this is me basically taking it out of the box. It comes with two cards um, and the color tells you what family it's a part of, which is the Yara family. And y'all know the Yara family on YouTube with the Bobby Boss wigs are really big. So I love Bobby Boss wigs, y'all. They're my favorite. Um, it, it comes with two combs in the front, one in the back, and adjustable straps. The cost of this wig is $25.95, which is a steal, okay, a steal. So since this is a synthetic wig, I'm not going to go too crazy with the plucking. I also suck at plucking anyways, but I just wanted to get a little bit of the hair that was near the front of the part because it came with baby hairs. So since it came with baby hairs, that part, the front part of the wig was kind of, it just needed to be plucked in my opinion. So I plucked it. You guys also know that I love to go crazy with my baby hair. So this time I decided to go a little light with my baby hairs and take out a minimal amount of hairs to, you know, lay as my baby hairs. Because I always do extra baby hairs. So I decided not to be extra this time. Also, fun trick, if you can't find your wig pin, it's great to use the needle you use to sew down your tracks as a placeholder for your wig. Hey, I'm back. All right, so you guys already know the steps. You start off with the holding spray. Once you use the holding spray, you get your blow dryer. Make sure it is dry. After that, you are going to get your got to be glue gel. Yep, yep. You're going to put it on your edges, and then you're going to dry that as well. Guys, make sure that you dry this really well before you move on to any steps because you can really mess up which is what I did because I was rushing for no reason. Once you cut off the excess cap, make sure to push down anything that might be lifting or sitting up. The next step is putting concealer on your cap. I also put concealer on um, the parting space just cause, I don't know, just to be safe, but yeah. Um, one thing that I know that I did wrong was again, I did it while it was still kind of wet. It was still kind of wet. And I don't know why I was rushing. Like, I don't know why I was doing that. Don't be like, make sure it's dry. Yeah. 
y'all let's have a moment of silence for this cut because it's like really bomb like wow look at that i'm amazed honestly truly So I wanted to play with flipping it over because I know a lot of people like to see what it looks like when you flip it. I don't usually flip it, but here it is flipped. I wouldn't wear it like this because for one, you can still see the part like so clearly. And also I just don't like the way it looks on me, but it might look good on y'all. So I want to show you guys what it looks like flipped over. When I cut my lace, I like to leave extra lace instead of cutting too much lace because I just feel like it's a good way to play it safe, so make sure you don't cut too much lace. So we're finally getting down to gluing it down, and I like to do it section by section. I'm also using the Got To Be Glue gel, because it's gel. I call it glue, but it's, it's really gel. But I like to do it section by section because I feel like that reduces the chances of my lace lifting or anything like that, and I feel like it just gives a better hold. this week first of all it's so pretty oh my god like i don't even know who i am it has a yakky texture to it it's very soft i like the texture of this wig it does not tangle because it's a short synthetic wig and it's very bouncy i love bouncy we love bouncy and i got her in the color 99j which is basically like kind of burgundy-ish but a dark burgundy it does have like kind of like highlights i guess you could call but you can't really see them the parted space is great it does not have a natural luster to it it looks very shiny other than that i really like this wig i'm about to slay in this okay stop playing kind of came with baby hairs already um but i made some extra ones because i'm extra she fits me in my short neck I don't have a long neck. It look long, but it's just because of the wig. <laughs> I don't use any of the combs, and I didn't use the adjustable straps. I would say that this wig is not really big head friendly because it's kind of tight on my head, and my head not that big. So I wouldn't say it's big head friendly. But if you want to, go for it. You know what I'm saying? But it is kind of. It was. It was kind of tight. I don't know. Maybe that means I have a big head, but I didn't think I did. <laughs> what else my hands run through it so easily look and this wig was so easy to style and do like all you really have to do is do up the, the wig you know the front part of it and you good so that's really all i have to say i don't really have anything else to say about it y'all know i don't like how shiny it is but i'm gonna add some powder to it some baby powder to take away some of that shine i and for her this wig is from bobby boss okay y'all know i love the bobby boss wigs do we look alike wait i gotta look that way no okay 
I hope you guys enjoyed this review. I hope it wasn't all over the place. My lighting was kind of over the place too. You know, I'm gonna keep improving. Thanks for stopping here at Baby J. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Come back, Chicky Girl. Out. Okay, period. Subscribe, because you know you like me. I like you too, so leave a comment down below. Peace.